Guys, uh, wow, uh, wow. It has been such an insane time for me recently for the last couple of months. Hi, it's Johnny. You probably know me as the kid that sings the Halo theme song in two places. Um, it did gain me a lot of views. Uh, I didn't realise it was going to become such a giant uh, thing. I could possibly start making a series out of it because the view count is so big for it. I would absolutely love to continue doing it for satirical content. However, that's not what this video is about, but I will start making more Halo videos. But, one year. One year is the important keyword for this video. Now, you guys probably already know, yes, Johnny, it's been a year since you made a new YouTube channel. However, no, there was a YouTube channel before this known as PJFF. PJFF was a channel that I made, and I decided to delete it because somebody found out the school that I went to. Oh, no. I made that channel, and I got over 100 subscribers on that. Uh, 153 to be precise, um, but this channel now has 44 subscribers, and I thank every single one of you guys for subscribing. Um, but the channel was made in June of 2017. Now, that was three months after something that happened approximately a year ago, um, and I haven't told you guys about it. That specific time of the year was when I had a serious medical issue and it had absolutely pushed me to the ground and it was impossible for me to get up metaphorically and physically not get up um, on this very bed I woke up and I had the biggest headache I had ever experienced in my life it was like somebody had taken out my eyes and just thrown something in there and it exploded and it destroyed my brain. That was how it felt. It was so much pain, more painful than a normal headache. This was 20 times the amount of a normal headache. This was really awful. And after that, I just laid in my bed for 30 seconds and it had been 30 seconds and I got out of my bed, but it wasn't that easy. I had been getting out of my bed and I fell out and I thought it was because my leg was stuck under a blanket, like it was under a blanket. However, I couldn't move my leg, I could not move it at all, it was not functioning, it was not moving, it would not do anything. Uh, I shouted out to my parents, they came running in through the door, uh, then they shouted what's wrong, I said I can't move my leg. Please help me out. I never told them about the headache. That was the one mistake that I did. And they took me out to the lounge room. And they said, you need to tell us everything that happened this morning. And I still didn't tell them about the headache. I didn't want to tell them. I didn't think I had anything to do with it. My mom said, you, maybe you pinched a nerve and it'll just work over. Maybe your leg's just fallen asleep for now. It did not work. For the next two days, my leg would not function at all. I could not move it at all. I could not get in the car correctly because I had to put my right leg in first to get into the car because I'd usually be in the passenger seat. But I had to play the piano and I had to audition for a, um, a show that I do where I live. And I was trying to sing Mad World, the saddest song ever. Basically, I tried singing it and I couldn't sing it. I had problems singing, I had problems talking. Uh, I couldn't play the piano properly anymore, even though I had had around seven to eight years in experience with piano playing um, and seven to eight years singing. So when this happened, my mum was shocked. She thought that I was joking around. She was yelling at me because she thought that I was faking everything that was happening at the moment. And I was distraught. I, I started crying. My mum thought I was being so ridiculous so so ridiculous and I hadn't even noticed at all that this I just had no clue what was going on guys I went to the audition I went to the auditioning place and there were a bunch of school kids that I knew there everywhere and I just tried blending in and I couldn't I I was walking up the stairs and I fell over on the stairs 
and one of the staff members actually saw and said, are you okay? And I said, I had to say, yeah, I'm alright. I had no clue what was happening. And this was the exact same day, guys. And that wasn't even the worst part. The worst part was that the day afterwards, I had to... I had to... I had to, I had to recite an entire monologue that I'd spent a whole week re memorising. And I couldn't even speak properly. I had slurred speech. Basically, it's where you speak like this. Uh, yeah, how are you going to today? My name is Johnny. It was like that, right? And I had to recite this, and I did it as fast as I could. It sounded somewhat normal, but I didn't get into the show, obviously, because I was... It, it didn't work out, guys. Basically, after this, uh, my father took me to the medical store to get some Panadol because he thought, because I was feeling nauseous, right? And we still didn't know what was going on. It, I got better, okay? I got better. But it was still not good enough because I still would not be able to move my leg. I slept for five hours while my parents were, while my parents were out gigging. They had to gig. They, it was mandatory for them to do so because they, they had this whole entire thing planned the reason my dad was up here, and I started thinking that I had something called motor neurons disease, and I thought that this was be the beginning of a progression that could possibly turn into something as serious as being paralysed for the rest of your life, and I thought because it was just my leg that was acting up and some bit of my arm, I thought that the receptors in my brain, the, ne the neurons in my brain, stopped functioning. And this was what I thought was going to be the beginning of a terrifying journey. However, I was incorrect, and I'm so happy I was incorrect, guys. I'm so happy. But when my dad had to leave to go down to the um, to the farm that we own, to my, that my dad owns, um, my mum took me to Wanuna. Well, I won't say it. My mother took me to the regional, well, the suburban, like um, not the not the massive hospital that you would go to in town. It was like a local uh, doctor's, okay? I went to the doctor's and I said everything that I had experienced. Um, she then said for me to walk and it was like, it was like the drug test sort of thing. And I was stumbling. It was so bad. I, would, I was able to move my legs somewhat, like I could lift it up if I leaned over, but and I could somewhat move the muscles, um, but it still wasn't good enough. I could barely even move it. My mum had to bring a tub into the car because I was feeling sick when we were going to the doctors. She told me, go straight down, straight downstairs to the CT brain scanning, and we need to get you a scan immediately to make sure that you're okay in the brain, because this could be something wrong with your brain, which is affecting your legs. And my mum was really worried and she said, it's probably nothing. It's probably a prolonged pinched nerve. She she was worried. She had no clue. They made me go into the CT room. And I wanted to. I wanted to see what was wrong with my brain. And they did the scanning. I went back upstairs with my mum. And the doctor showed us the scans. That white bit of my brain. That you see right there. That was blood in my brain, and the doctor told us that I'd had a stroke, and they said that I should go to the hospital because it wasn't a normal thing, right? But because I was 14, it wasn't normal. So they took me to the base hospital, uh, they got me checked, um, and it turned out that I had a arteriovenous malformation, an AVM to be precise, and it was a very serious, very serious issue. And I had to go to uh, I had to go to Sydney Children's Hospital, and I went there, and I had to have brain surgery to remove it. So April the sixth was the surgery day. March the eleventh today was the day that I had the stroke, and I had the the uh, thing removed. This is all that's left. The scar right there. That's what happened. Um, I'm grateful to be alive. 
I'm really grateful to be alive because 